Now, while President Trump gets ready for tonight's debate, his running mate, Vice President Pence, made a campaign stop here in Metro Detroit. The VP held a rally at Oakland County International Airport, and our Rod Maloney was there. He joins us now with uh, what the Vice President had to say. Hi, Rod. Hi. Uh, you know, Kimberly, uh, the Vice President came to town and spoke to several hundred uh, of his supporters, some wearing masks, some not. Uh, but they stood out in a driving rain in advance of the vice president's arrival. Uh, it did stop just before he got there. Vice president went about 45 minutes, and it, for him, begins and ends with the economy. I mean, honestly, when you think about our economy, I really do believe the choice that come November 3rd here in Michigan is between a Trump recovery and a Biden depression. Vice President Pence went on to contrast the two approaches. And now in the midst of a global pandemic, Joe Biden wants to raise taxes by $4 trillion. <laughs> President Trump, he cut taxes across the board for working families. The vice president hailed the appointment and what he believes will be the swearing in of Judge Amy Coney Barrett on the Supreme Court and slammed the Democratic nominee for refusing to answer whether he wants to pack the Supreme Court if elected. The American people deserve a straight answer, Joe. When you're running for the highest office in the land, the American people deserve to know whether you're going to respect the highest court in the land. The crowd came enthusiastic and dressed to show off to the candidate himself. Dave Dummeter of Dearborn did all he could to get the vice president's attention. I want Trump and Pence to know there's people in Michigan that are for him and we're sick and tired of what our governor and attorney general is doing to this state. I just think this is one of the most important elections ever. And I just 100% believe in this campaign and the Trump organization. And so the vice president jetted off to Indiana, his home state, after he spoke here. He said he was going to be doing what he wants others here in the crowd to do, and that is vote early. Devin, back to you. All right, Rod, we reached out to Joe Biden's campaign for reaction, and uh, here it came. Here's the quote. Vice President Pence and President Trump's failed response to this pandemic has devastated Michigan. More than 140,000 Michiganders have tested positive for COVID-19. More than 200,000 Michiganders have lost their jobs this year. More than one in four small businesses have shuttered and may never reopen, and there is no end in sight. Nothing that Vice President Pence says today can change that. End of quote.